videos of support. So. Damn, I don't have any recent photos of my dog. Unlucky. Ah. I do, but it's got my face in it, and I realize none of y'all know what I look like. No. You probably want to keep it a mystery. Mysterious me. Yeah. We want to, yeah, mysterious down. Mysterious me. Yeah. You'll never know. I could be on the, the same train, and you'll never know. That's a little difficult for me. You, you, you don't know that. Yeah, you don't know. Maybe he lives. In, maybe he lives in America. Yeah. Damn. Maybe I'm visiting the big lakes. Yeah. Oh God. The Michigan lakes that we talked about for twenty minutes last time. <laughs> and we'll do it again. So anyway, my favorite lake. Um, top tier biscuits. KFC. What? What did Michigan stand for again? Because I swear Lake Michigan was just Lake Lake or something. Yeah. It's like Lake Big Lake. Yeah, Lake Big Lake. Michigan's like Big Lake. Love that. Oh, it does. Alright, have we got an Albert Rodeo thing? Stand for. Uh... Yeah, Great or Large Lake. So Lake we, Michigan we is just Lake Large Lake. What's that? It's up to you, Dylan. You're the DM. <laughs> It's funny though. Uh, we'll, we'll probably have one. Alright. I'm gonna have to change all my shit on there as well. Because my name's <laughs> my name's Comrade on everything now. The joys of playing multiple campaigns. Yeah. <laughs> I can't uh, believe you're just eating chocolate in front of me. I get to be popped in just a few of them. You can just pop there if you want. No, because I've already had chocolate today. You know what I'm saying? You could just look away. <laughs> Boop! I love you. How about Rodeo Long Close Call? Oh, What? Migrate now. Look at him, he's so small. That. You don't gotta worry about that right now. Oh yeah, it changed, enjoy. Oh no, it didn't. It hasn't changed for sure. It changes in uh three days. So how did we yep. use the upgraded one then? Uh it exists. Ah just Yeah. Should I switch to that now or no? No. Okay. I mean, in great news, uh, I have no idea why this link is not working for me. Ah. <laughs> it says you're on here. Uh, yeah, he's like been connecting and disconnecting a lot. There you uh, go. <laughs> I think I'm on now. Yeah, did you use a different browser for chance? No, I just opened why the link again. Means? Perchance? What? Why are you looking Oh, baby. Look at it. Yeah, it's purple, though. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being like... Can I have that one? Can I have that one? I can try and find it if you want. Go on. Well, send me the link. Go ahead. I'll buy it for you. It doesn't have very good reviews. Mm. It does say it's sterling silver and then it's also 13 quid. So, probably a scam. Scorium? Not a scorium. Turns your finger green. Oh, it's copper then, not silver. <laughs> Did not receive the ring I wanted. Bruh. Well, recap boy, are you gonna give us some recap? Oh yeah, shit, I forgot. That's my job and the only job I have. And you immediately open a DM.
Recaps. There we go. Last time on Pop's Prairies, Ven went off on his own meeting. The Raven. That. Wow. That just reads so well. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> she wanted to congratulate. Hang on, I'm being shot on something. Calm. Well, that's cool. Karma. Yeah, commas are useful. She wanted to congratulate him for helping the lost soul of Nyla, but she also uh, revealed his magical energy has been spread across the city. After answering a few questions, she bestowed the cloak of ravens onto Vin, allowing him to make his uh, take his leave. Reuniting, wow. what? Oh, sorry. Um, keep going. Um, reuniting with the rest of the group. They set off, meeting the new police commissioner and receiving awards for saving the city. Their moment of glory only lasted a few moments, but Pops was there to pick them up and take them to their new home. Everyone took the time to move in and sleep for the night. When morning came, everyone was refreshed and ready for adventure. Seeking the centaurs, Brooke discovered they left the walls, heading deep into the forest. They met interesting characters, saw more trees than ever before. Then, eventually, the moment of truth came, and... And Room reunited. And, and Room reunited, reunited with her, 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 her brother's knight and king. Room, room, motherfucker. Room, room. Room, room. That was written at 2.38 a.m. Hell yeah. Boys want to become circular. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, you can become a circle. But why would you want to be a circle when you can just be a dude? Because uh, I can't remember what the circle thing was called. The the circle fits better on the on the battle maps. Oh right, for sizing. Sick. You're gonna get an elbow radio, my love. I don't want to sit up. <laughs> I'm comfy cuddled up to you, okay? I don't want to sit in my chair. Yeah. You can just do my elbow radio for me. I go PNG. Dylan has my PNG, it's fine. Oh, wait, let me test something. So like, how do I put myself in a circle? There's a there's a, yes. a website that he's probably it's linked. Sent a link in general. Oh yeah. right, I see. I'm not lazy. You just drag and drop the image. <laughs> you can use it? Yeah. No. It's just I would like right. cir I would like circles. Oh you like the circle? Okay. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. <laughs> So just drag an image in. Drag the image in. Yeah. Give it a while, my computer is slow. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Oh, that's the monk we walk folder. Fuji stuff.
can't believe my rework is done. Mm -hmm. Like, holy shit. <laughs> wow, that ring fits him so well. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Hmm. Oh, I don't already have action. Ooh, I got one made for me. <laughs> I'm almost there. What's this? <laughs> it doesn't give too many options. I, I want to change it up. <laughs> Barrel like going this way. <laughs> Barrel. Oh my god. Barrel. That's all I. That's all I'm gonna say from now on. Barrel. I'm sorry. I'm annoying. You're so annoying. That's all Buster says. I just. Barrel. I have. I have I have things that I I get. Do we want to get going while you're in the background doing that? Yes, I won't be long. Right. So, uh, we return to all of you as you are inside the home of Night and King. Uh, do time skippy. Uh, you've enjoyed a lovely meal cooked by Knight and Rook, the two. Uh, reunited siblings uh, and it's very delicious uh, combination of different cooking styles but also that just seem to have some kind of a similar vibe to them as if they were siblings or something crazy Are you oh, really this is. particular yes. about a fucking? Oh my god, you were all like, oh, I don't want it to be a circle, but now like you're like, so a circle has to be Wait, perfect. If I'm gonna make it a circle. It's gotta be a good damn circle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go make your lunch because I know you're gonna not eat it if you don't. I can, I can go get myself. No, nope, I'm doing it. No, you don't. Hold on. It's... So, Buster, what would you like to do as you're sitting here in this house? It's uh, coming on. Late at night. If I remember Anyone? rightly, everyone else is in disguise, and I'm just stood in the corner. Uh, I believe Vin's out of his disguise. Right yeah, now, I dropped. But... I dropped my disguise. But yeah, uh, like you, 
I, you would have been allowed to this like family dinner and would have been allowed to have a plate. But, you know, Sweet. like you're, you, you got like the corner seat, so like you don't got the full table. <laughs> you're kind of the one pushed <laughs> off to the side a little bit. But yeah, now everyone seems to be uh, sort of like winding down, you know, the sun setting. Cool, let me go. What did you spend so much time on? Oh, I made I made one and then realized I could change the background color to not shit colored brown. Um, shit colored brown looks great. Look how sick it looks on mine. <laughs> yeah. Not shit colored brown. Uh, so I, I I made it again, the not shit colored brown. So it's for nineteen twenties. If you don't get color, you're know, doing something wrong. So uh, what would you like to? What do you guys like to do? As you're sort of sitting here, uh, Rook is sort of like went off with her siblings now, so it's really just the two. You just sort of awkwardly sitting in here. So, barrels, am I right? Barrels. Yeah. The fuck is up with that one, eh? It's a speech bubble. Hmm? I gaslight hard enough. There will be no barrel. <laughs> there is no barrel, huh? Yeah, sure. Totally believe that one. What, what, what barrel? The one that I'm apparently holding. Ah, oh, it's back on Buster. Are we playing catch? Bubble. It's a speech bubble. Oh. oh, I see. I got you. Okay. <laughs> Every time someone says barrel, I'm just... <laughs> You're not you're not gonna tell me you're not gonna tell me about the barrel, are you? Actually, when you look around, the barrel's not inside this building right now. Okay. That's fine. What barrel? <laughs> I mean What what barrel? Okay. Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna ignore the barrel. Hold up. It's a, a smart thing to do. Right. Well, hopefully Rogue's where coming we... back soon, because this is awkward. Yeah, where do we go from here? We can't, well, I mean, we can't this sleep. whole quest was to find Rogue's family, and I'd say we fucking done that. Yeah, we fucking did it. Look, I got two families. Two family people, you know? Well, and, you know, two families, you got us, and then them. Hell yeah! Yeah. Or two families and two real family people. We not real family people? Well, you are real family people, but family, like, if I cut myself and I needed blood, I could take it from them. I can't take it from you. I don't think that's how blood works. For that's sure. not how blood works? I don't think so. But you need blood types, and my blood type's centaur, right? Uh, I, uh, no, no. No. Buster, that's not how blood types works. I thought you said that one time we found someone on the street after you went away for a second and you came back and we found someone on the street. You said we couldn't help them because we didn't have their blood type anywhere. Because they were blood type, uh, bitch. That sounds like something Ben would say. <laughs> that does sound like something Ben would say. <laughs> Remember Ben? I... Uh... Yeah, no, no, I, I have no idea what we're talking about. Anyway. You know, blood type bitch, like a dog. So, I guess what we do next depends entirely on you, Rook. What do you mean? Well, we came out here because of you, so what do you want to do when you're out here? We're going to eat dinner. Oh, okay. And then... I thought we already did that at the dinner. end of the last session. You ate yeah. dinner. Okay. You ate dinner. We're going to eat dinner again. We're going to eat dinner again. Okay. 
Sure. I don't I... know. Do we just go home now? Can we take them with us? Or... I don't think they want to come with us. I'm not going to lie. Do you guys want to come with us? Um, no, thank you. Oh. But surely oh. Jasper's company can, like, get him new legs. Oh, uh, I mean, maybe yeah, I'm, maybe. I'm not, I'm not going to live in the place that crippled my brother, took my sister from me, and made my parents disappear. Good night. And that and is entirely take, justified. And he starts to take Cake to his room to put him to bed. Um, I'm going to leave the room and go look around. What if we go find my parents? They're missing. I don't know, you guys are usually in charge. I don't like making the decisions here. Well right now you're in charge because this is your 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 quest, your But I'm not the oldest. But you are the one that brought us out here. As you say that, you see Buster outside the window just sort of like walking into the village. Man, I wish I could climb trees. You could learn the the uh, uh, fuck the spider climb spell, probably. I think Druid's gonna do that. Centaur spider climb. <laughs> That's scary. Fear, 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 fear. <laughs> Let's go home to Pops and tell him the good news. Go on home. All right, well, good seeing you, Night King. They already left the room, actually, now that I think about it, didn't they? Yep, you can say good night anyway. Uh, I'll come back to visit, probably. Just be careful no one follows you. What, here or home? He both. Okay. <sighs> Got it. Bye. Yeah. Buster, you sort of, while looking around, you sort of end up starting to leave the village. So, uh, Ven and Rook, as you, like, if you start to make your way out, you would see Buster just sort of walking into the forest. Buster, where are you going? Buster has no perception. <laughs> he can't see shit. Oi, right, Buster! Huh? We're going home, you coming? Um, I, I need to, I'm gonna look around. You guys go ahead and I'll catch you up. Did you lose your barrel? What barrel? Oh no, did you lose a barrel? Do you want help finding them? Guys, make, make perception checks for me. Mm. Oh, this barrel's gonna be like up a tree or something. Oh my god, perception, the one thing Rook's good at. She's good at very few things. Dirty 20. Time for a nat 20. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, um, as you both say that and he uh, says no, you both look down the lack of barrel around him or on his body do you want some help looking for your barrel did it roll away yeah the the, the, uh, the forest is not a great place to be a barrel yeah there's lots of hills and rocks and stuff that it can bump into and roll away mm -hmm. want I'm some help looking for the barrel. okay i'm gonna start helping looking for the barrel what's the barrel's name be easy to find it if we can call out his name Barrels don't have names, Ben. Shh. Why are you shushing? What's the barrel's me? name, Buster? The barrel, it's 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 just a barrel. No, it's not. I don't believe you. Ben, make an insight check. <laughs> Buster, would you please make a persuasion or deception check? And shrug. Yeah, he's 
He's a little fishy, then. He's a, he's a little fishy. Especially, what's really sticking out to you is the fact that you guys were never at this part of the forest where he is currently looking for his barrel. So there's no way it could have rolled over here. Uh huh. Did somebody throw you a barrel? Yeah, yeah, that's, that must have been what's happened. So oh. Someone might have taken it. <gasps> no, so what's in the barrel? Have you got, like, snacks? <laughs> Is there snacks in the barrel? Yes, Rook, there's baby bells in the barrel. If you <gasps> find it, you, you, you'll get baby bells. Oh my god! I will find it so fast because I know what the smell of baby bells is and I'm going to turn into a dog and start looking for the, the barrel. I am giving Buster the biggest uh, bitch really look right now. I'm going to give it's the biggest uh, intimidation look right now. Make an intimidation check. <laughs> Today in the uh, day. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Ven is just not going to be phased by you at all, I don't think. So, Buster, now the question Are there actually baby bells in the barrel? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the barrel has snacks in it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm sniffing out those fucking baby bells. Make a he's, perception he's, check. He's built for a child. Uh, as a dog, I have advantage because dog knows. Dog knows knows. I have advantage on perception with dog knows. Seventeen. Seventeen, yeah. Uh, you guys start moving through the forest. There is a light pathway here. Not as not as much as this picture. Uh, well, this, this, this for this part of the forest isn't traveled as much. I'm but gonna look for like. Oh, sorry, you keep going. Okay, uh, I was just gonna say, as you keep moving, you sort of like smell the scent somewhat coming from this way, but the river is kind of dampening it. But you smell, you roll pretty high, so you can smell that it's coming from this side of this little river. I uh, start walking over there. I'll just follow Rook then. Yeah, she she got my nose for it. I'm doing like yeah. the the puppy waggle walk where like you know I, I gotta find a gift for it. Okay, now this river. How about are you going about crossing this river? This river does seem to be uh, a little strong here. Uh, Buster and Van, you're very strong. So the two of you could probably just walk right through it, but a dog, a dog can't touch the bottom, so a dog would go on a little journey. I can swim. Yeah, well, the river's moving, so if you start swimming, I can just carry the dog. The river. I'll pick rook Physics. up. Okay, pick uh, rook up, which will help so anchor me as well. Stalking the frog all over again. Yeah. Okay. Nice and simple. You never know, maybe you guys wanted to Tarzan across, you know. I mean, Gotta give the option. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna look for any, like, flattened grass that looks like it might have had a barrel rolling over it. Make an investigation check. An investigation check? I can fucking do that. Boom, nat 20. Natural 20. Uh, yes, you start to see uh, many tracks actually in like this sort of area. Um, this seems to be like sort of like a flower patch and mm -hmm. the, the barrel seemed to have been moving around here a bit. This is also a flat area. Um, but yeah. then you sort of see like from around here, there seems to be uh, larger footprints. And uh, Rook, you start to smell bird. Bird? Yeah, a whole lot of bird. I smell birds. You can't say that, you're a dog. Fuck you. <laughs> rough, rough. Yab, 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 yab. Rough, 
Right. So, I'm going to follow the tracks and see if I can find the barrel. Okay, so the tracks from this point sort of like loop around like they're being chased and they sort of like end up going around this sort of curve around this tree. It's being attacked by birds 100%. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna go walk over there. Okay. Uh, how about are you walking over there? Just full on, just walk in stealthily. I'm, I'm uh, walking. I'm walking. walking. I'll be cautious, but okay. not stealthy. Okay, as you turn the corner, you see two owl bears playing with the barrel. I'm going to full like... sprint into one of them. <laughs> Just going to go shoulder tackle it? Yep. <laughs> Me? Uh, what's the pushing pull? Remember there's pushing pull. Uh, Shove is a strength contest. Okay. Yeah, make a mm. strength check. Athletics contest, even. Make an athletics check. Okay. Uh, and I think the owlbear can use athletics or acrobatics. I will double check that. Oh, yeah. oh yes. <laughs> the owlbear does a backflip. <laughs> 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 Sounds about right. Nice does, man. Does a little break really dance. not liking me. Um, what level are we? Fifth. Okay, so if you use your shove, if you do a shove attack, you can. that's a part of your attack action, so you can make another attack if you want as well, Buster. Nine. So you see this barrel, you see this owl bear holding onto your barrel, and you just charge in and shoulder tackle it, and the barrel goes tumbling in this direction. And it is like it's like one of those little like blow up like bowling pin type things where it like sort of rolls over and mm. then like rolls back and just like its whole head just turns around back to you like what the hell just happened? None, Descal. So I'll, I'll second attack, attack and I'm just going to grapple it. You're going to wrestle a little bear. Go for it. Is that just another strength check? Uh, yes. That's athletics or acrobatics, right? No. Uh, yeah, same thing. Because they translate over. Why is Owlbear just fucking me over like this? Not Owlbear. Well, who do you... Yeah, who do you think you're fighting right now? Oh, dear. I mean, look, look let's service around. We're on Owlbear Rodeo, and you're trying to fight the owlbears? No, it's not, it's not going well. They're in their home turf. It's affecting Dice Maiden. See, look. So, you sort of, like, reach out and try and grab onto this bear, and immediately, it just slams you onto the ground. And it sort of, like, roars in your face. It's this sort of, like, bird screech. I... Like, some, like spit on you and this this strange just uh musky sort of like smell i'm gonna black this guy because that's normal terminology yeah i'm gonna black him yeah okay rook what are you doing are you just chilling over here borkin or um the rod you gave him was plus one wasn't it cool I'm going to run in, and I'm going to start, like, using my nose to push the barrel out of the way and save the barrel. Okay. I'm dog. Uh, both of those hit an owlbear, right? Uh, yes. Cool. No, oh, this, this is a cocaine owlbear. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Uh, and I can add my charisma to that damage, so plus five. Uh, it did a total of 24 damage. Nice. It's itchy. Uh huh. It <laughs> so, 
seeing it on top of your older brother, you just whip out this gun and just <laughs> and just start shooting it in the chest. And now I need initiatives from everyone. God damn, these are some low rolls. Let's do this. Let's do it. It's time to dog do, 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 activate. You gonna roll doing? initiative? Oh, sorry, I didn't hear anyone say that. My bad. Too busy stuffing my face with lunch. It's good Chinese in my defense. Really good. Sorry about that. 18. <laughs> okay, oh, second so first. Then, yeah, then you're first as this elbear is still like it it there's no like sort of bleeding from its back from these shots, but it still has its like claws down in on Buster and it sort of like looks up at you angrily now. Um How far away from me is it? Uh it's about like uh counting in Buster's head about like four feet away from you. Cool. I'm Oh wait, so it's in melee range of me. Fuck, okay. Yeah. Did not did not realize that at all. Yeah, um... it's technically here just so we can see Buster. I have it down a little bit. Okay, okay, this is fine, this is fine. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to use Shocking Grasp. So, that is... A, a D20 plus 9. Please hit. Does a 12 hit an owlbear? A 12 does not hit an owlbear. Fuck! Um... Cool, well, fuck me then. Uh, that's, that's, I'm sorted, that's me done. Shit. That means it's Albert one's turn. First, it is going not slash toll. That'll be funny. <laughs> just takes your money. Yeah. This just robs you. It's like, okay, you can go now. <laughs> First, it is going to bite down into Buster does an 11? No, uh, no, no. An mm, 11 does 11. not hit. Yeah. And then uh, after sort of like trying to bite down into uh, him, its claw sort of scratches out at you then. For a natural 20. Oh boy, my favorite. Does a 27 hit you? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it hits me. 
2d8. Uh, that's 25 points of damage. Yay. <laughs> so, you're sort of standing there trying to shock it, and it just sort of scratches out and just sort of slashes your neck, and now it's just blood dripping down. Yeah. <laughs> now it's the um. other owlbear's turn. Uh, so, Rook, you're sort of in this little dog form, and you watch as this giant bear just sort of clambers over to you it does like a little sniff for a second before it tries to bite down on you can i lick its nose before it bites me yes, please you, you, sort of, you lick its nose i want to attempt friendship and then it bites your tongue no like a little with its little bird beak it was a 22 hit yeah. You bribe dice madam. There ain't no way you're getting this high on each roll. Welcome to my world. Watch me get 15 damage. What? Huh? <laughs> I, I hit enter that I moved channels. That was weird. Let's try that again. Oh, cool. So that's 50 points of damage. damage to Rook. What? Yeah, I'm out of dog. <laughs> dog is dead. <laughs> you just, you sort of just lick it and then it just... Doesn't even bite my tongue, it bites the fucking dog's head. <laughs> Off. So then you sort of banth back and uh, it gets like startled by that and just sort of like whacks you in the head with its claw. For 23. Jesus. We can get another max not, damage? Not 23 damage, so 23 to hit. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Still Jesus. Mm. For 13 points of damage, this is just sort of whacks you in the face. Ow! It's like, oh shit! Smack! <laughs> yeah, it, it just bit this little dog and it turned to a person and it's like, Ugh! oh shit! A rat! <laughs> Uh, Rook, it's your turn. I'm just reading something quickly. <laughs> reading spores? Yeah. The death, you do like the spores. Death spell. Uh, can I have a, a constitution saving throw from the Alba when it approached me? I f keep forgetting I have these abilities. No. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Don't you have 13. to activate your spores for that? No. Oh, okay. That's... I get extra damage if I activate my spores. Got it, got it, got it. God, you were just like a half decayed dog with, like, flies. Yeah, that's my reaction at any point in time to oh, give thick. 1d4 necrotic if they fail. I thought that was only when your hair was spores were active, but... Nope. Well, very nice. And then it's your turn. Yeah, I'm looking for the constitution saving throw. 13. Oh, yeah. uh, that fails, so 1d4 damage. Bro. It's because it did 13 damage to me, I didn't process that as the. Uh... Oh, yeah. No, that's valid. That's valid. Dude, a 13, whole 13. one damage. Oh, shit. One damage. This little, like, this little flake of spores like, gets into its eye, and it's like. Arr! And like blinks a bit to get it out, but it, 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 it that he didn't like that. That made it uncomfortable. I don't like him, so I'm gonna cast cool lightning. <laughs> I don't like him, so <laughs> that hits automatically, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. How far away is it from the other Alba? Uh, about ten feet. Uh, about, there's about five feet between them. We'll probably get both of that, right? Uh, each creature within five feet of that point, so I could do it in between them. Yeah, barrel. but then I'd hit the barrel, so I'll just do it behind oh, the did one. Did you push that's... the barrel all the way? No, I didn't get to because it wasn't my turn first. So got it. See you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cool lightning to blam 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 
you know. Of course. Uh. That's a deck save, right? Hmm. That's a deck save, right? Let me check. Uh, dexterity saving throw, and then I'm a bonus action, disengage, and leave. Huh? Does that not come with mobile feet? Oh, oh no, mobile's just free disengage. You can oh, just walk okay. away. Oh, I can just walk away. Yeah, you don't even need the bonus oh, action. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, is that on both one and two, or just two? Uh, I'm just not going to hit the barrel, so just two. So just I'm just doing it behind two. Uh, yeah, and uh, then I'm walking walk away uh, 50 feet. 50, so... Just straight sideways. 50. Oh, those are five foot things, aren't they? Okay, yeah, so... What the fuck do you think they are? I, 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 my brain was like, that's 10 feet per square. Five Bruh. squares, 50 foot, makes sense. So those, it's, Dylan said those are trees. What are trees? Those. Okay. I, are you, does that mean she can't go through them or it's difficult to rain? can't really go th you can go down here actually okay do you want to go down there sure to the to the water sure okay sure. i'll just go through trees but no, it's a tree uh, th 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 this is a very thick jungle a so like th these parts of these water. so like these are very like mapped together like if you look, zoom in the picture you can see like there's the roots mm. even just inside so you could go through if you like you know took the time to like sort of like cut the twigs out of the way yeah so it's I'll, I'll, I'll just go as far as i can away in any direction yeah, do you want to cross yeah, the water yeah. for that end sure okay, so that's 15 water is difficult terrain so 25 35 45 so i can just make it 50 Cool. I live here now. Ven's about to go in melee mode for the first time wow. this campaign. Yeah. Buster, it's your turn. Buster needs his classic. Just two and throws. Since Albert one is on top of Buster, it does it get advantage on its attacks? Is it proning him? Yeah, is Buster prone? Is yeah. the question. Yeah, if if Buster is prone, they get advantage. I'd say with a whole ass bear on top of him as he's on his back, that's about as prone as you can get. Well, if he's mechanic, he people. has to be mechanically prone. Yeah, can the owlbear actually knock him over? No, so he is just on the ground. So he's not mechanically prone. It works in my advantage, Ven Great. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, I need two one d twenties. Does a sixteen hit? Uh, yes. And I'm guessing a twenty six hits as well. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's a rare owlbear that actually, if you roll higher, you're less likely to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm straight using. Uh, Spell slots out here, because fuck this. Oh, fuck I'm this about, bear. I'm about to, I'm fuck about to burn one of my spell slots as well. There was one thing interesting I found about Charlie's campaign with that monster, where the first attack on it, whatever you roll, is their AC. I did like that monster. Yeah. Apart from the fact that we rolled an axe 20 first damage. time. And... <laughs> yeah, and also it was the first two attacks you roll. Yeah. I think it needs to be the first attack you hit. Mm. So if you miss But it doesn't that, have doesn't an become... AC, so... Shit. <laughs> so, Buster, Phil is some rage. Natural, you sort of just... <clears throat> to its stomach, and just carve out a chunk, and just blood just starts coming all over your body. Just this, this splash as you just carve a chunk out of this creature. Don't touch my fucking barrel. Sort of. Oh, Heavy metal. Then it's your turn. Uh, right. I. I'm gonna cause a vampiric touch. And fucking murk this asshole. Go for it. Sixteen. That hits now, but fully. Yep. Is it does. 
Uh, so it takes three, six necro. Wow! <laughs> Eleven necrotic touch. Oh wait, no. What level is vampiric touch? Oh, it's that level. Never mind. Um. 11th, so I, yeah, I do 11 damage and I heal 6 health. Nice. So That's like my turn. Place your hand down on it. Um, well, I imagine, like, shadows wreath one of my hands and I just, like, smack it. You watch as this other owlbear... I just got the other one's turn, not a lot too. I never rolled damage for that deck save. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you should probably do that. Yeah. What did he get? Um. um. It's 1d20 plus 1. Uh, so he got 3 if, if that's the roll up there. Yeah. yeah, that would be it. So 15 damage from lightning. Okay. Completely forgot that was part of my turn until yeah. now. <laughs> you even got them to do the deck, so. <laughs> I'm, uh, the, there's like there's like a little delay in like the elements above, and it took a minute for the lightning to to form. <laughs> but then as and then there's just a as you're running away. And the lightning finally striking. Meanwhile, the other one's gonna bite back into Buster. No. For 22. Actions have consequences. I am only alarmed. Your actions have consequences. That is uh, 10 points of damage to you, Buster. And then it's gonna, since you carved a chunk out of it, it is going to slam its claw down into you. Thirteen, I assume, does not hit. No. All right, so it sort of like slams its claw down, and you sort of like catch it with your hands, sort or of like pushing against it. Yeah. <laughs> Watch as this owl bear sort of like steps forward and then just with its claw just sort of splashes into the barrel, taking out a chunk of it and sending it flying in by trees. And then for the rest of the movement, it starts to move up. And now there's an owlbear next to you, Ben. <laughs> There's two? <laughs> uh, Rook, it is your turn. Blam, 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 blam. Uh, I, I'm just gonna... In between the two of them, but not near Ven. So basically opposite to where Ven is, I'm um, gonna hit both of them. So I need dexterity to... What? That orange circle is Buster. Oh... Uh, is he like directly on top of him still, or can Pretty I much. hit him in the ass? Because if he's not yeah, prone, he, he can't be in it, the I'll same space. It. So that we'll he just said, "I'll tank it." Well, they can't be it. in the same space mechanically. So I'm asking, like, can yeah. I hit him? Unless if he's prone. The he's owlbear is on top of him. He's holding him down. Yeah, but I could hit him in the ass, right? Yeah, you can damage him. It's just, uh. He's also open because his head is sticking out from the owlbear. So he's yes, head you wouldn't be able to hit both. So pick one or two. What do you mean? You can't get both because Buster is in between them. Oh. Uh, Go for it. He said he'd tank it. I reckon I'll roll high enough. You okay with that, Buster? <laughs> Ice Meta needs needs to make up for me because I've had terrible luck all around. So. Okay, I need a dexterity saving throw from also, all three of them then. Dexterity? I just got oh, fuck. Major deja vu from this whole encounter. I swear this has happened before. Oh, yeah, did this happen with, um. Yutari what? and. El. Uh, what's his Maybe. Name? El okay, I really hope you tank this. 
Uh, he rolled a four. <laughs> uh, I'll wait for the dexterity saving throws from the owls. Twenty and eleven. Well, the eleven fails. Everyone else takes eight damage, and they take That's four. Fine. The the saved one takes four. I'm sorry, I'm being weird. And I assume, yeah, that that was that, that you did it um like this, right? Diagonal. Those are unfortunate it rolls. It wouldn't mm. touch Fen. Yeah, it wouldn't. Circle, I'd but... do it like behind them, so it wouldn't touch Fen. Okay. All right. So just it like strikes down right in front of me. I'm like, Jesus, fuck! There's <laughs> <laughs> like lightning just comes out and strikes everything, and just like a bolt just hits the Buster in the forehead. This is what I get for getting too into my characters. Yep. Buster. For context, I just poured right all over myself. <laughs> wow. 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 Right, let's finish this. First guy. Uh oh, does a thirteen hit? Uh, a thirteen defender wins. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, I'm gonna go for a single hit on that guy with on your first level spell slot. That is one d twenty plus that plus three d eight. Yeah, plus 2d8. So he takes 29 damage there. So Buster, how would you like to kill this owlbear with 9 hit points? Um, <laughs> Overkill. <laughs> I'd like to think the electric shock definitely um makes me uh, just just go insane. I just terrify I just terrify his foot. It's mine now. This sort of like lightning bolt sort of like zaps you in the forehead and it gives you sort of like a jolt. And as you jolt forward, you sort of just stab your sword through its neck. And then just sort of like pull out as the jolt sort of like wears off. And then it just sort of lays down on your lap. They put Ranger in S tier as well. There's a dead owlbear on you. Which means that's all finished out. Uh, then it's your turn. Um, so there's one fucker left. Yeah. Yes. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to... Vampiric touch. Well, damn, wow. All fours, that is very average. <laughs> we take average. Uh, so the... Oh wait, I need to actually roll to hit first. That was stupid of me. <laughs> How do I forget to roll to hit? 17 hits. So I regain 6 hit points, and it takes 12 necrotic damage. Start sucking this energy out of the owlbear. It yep. looks at like this sort of like bird-like screech, and it is its turn. It's going to shift and bite at uh, you, and then swipe at Buster. So a little bite. I assume a 10 does not hit Ven. Nope. And then Buster. Natural one. It sort of like starts to slash out of you, but it just sort of pushes up dirt and it hits the ground. Uh, that is Rook's turn. And then Buster, you're up next. Wait, what? Yeah, wait, what do you mean by it's Rook's turn? It's Rook's turn. Okay. <laughs> I thought uh, you said that's Rook's turn. Yeah, right? you said that's Rook's turn, and oh, I was like, I had a yeah, turn. When? <laughs> uh, I'd like the owlbear by himself to make a saving throw, please. Uh, a deck save? Yeah, deck saves. Lightning. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, there are. Uh, Hit me again, I reckon I can tank it. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> Wheel into gambling right now. He fails, 14. he takes 17 damage. So you get like 
five lightning bolts just sort of slam into its head, slam into its back, and slam into its rear end, and it just sort of like rears up, kind of like and now it's like like fully standing. It's just less of this bird screech. Is that the end of your turn? Hun? Yeah. Okay, uh, oh, Buster. Um, Buster, it's your turn. I am going to go for the classic uh, punch him in the face until he dies. Solid, solid strat. Never fails. It's, it's worked so far. So you're doing an unarmed strike? No, 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 no. no, no. I'm using my... Uh, I have a miss. Oh, fuck, another 13. 13 does uh, not hit. 18 though, that's a good number. I'm tired of people getting my claw speeches again. <laughs> and I'm uh Nah what oh fuck. Okay, I'm gonna do nine damage. Nine points of damage as you slam this creature in the face. Uh is that the end of your turn? Uh yeah. Then that's you. Your turn. Okay, I'm just gonna vampiric punch, punch him again. Oh, that, uh, that don't sound right, huh? I'm gonna vampiric touch him again, yes. I'm gonna vampiric suck him. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna suck this owl bear dry. <sighs> sounded like you knew what you were saying there. <laughs> it's so bad. Roll the hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to make sure I haven't been mm. fucking up on something real fast. I will be but a moment. Um. Okay, there's only cantrips. So I haven't been fucking up. 25 to hit, which means it takes 3d6 necrotic damage, which totals up to 8 on a not great roll there, but you know. It's How whatever. Like um, right. I'm gonna grab this fucker by its neck. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna grab this fucker by its neck. Um, I'm like shadows are gonna wreath like from my elbow up my arm until they reach its neck. At which point they like pass into it. And the necrotic damage is gonna like spread through its neck. And I'm gonna suck what life force I can out of it. Which heals Grab me for dick and twist it. Which heals me for four more health. Yay. Okay. Over the course of that fight, I almost healed the crit I got in round one. <laughs> almost. So, with this final owlbear drained of its life force, that is both of them dead. This area is now clear of danger. Let's bring it over to, to the barrel. As you sort of head over, you see it's sort of like stuck in like all these different branches and like pieces of the tree. Uh, and there's just like these big gash wounds inside of the inside of like the exterior of this barrel. A few baby bells are like on the ground. Blood baby bells. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna walk over and look over at it, it so I have a better. I'm gonna throw my jacket over it before anyone sees. So Red, as you walk over, you watch as his like sort of vest is laid over the barrel. Buster, why are you hiding the thing from us? I don't get it. It's, it's clearly my secret stash of baby bells. Uh-huh. That's why you're hiding it with your jacket. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know what, what would do Buster. If, if they found it? Should probably very politely ask for a baby bell. 
Yeah, that, that does sound like hell. Yeah, it does. Anyway, let's head back. I'm tired. And we got to walk back as well. We can't even get the fucking car because Pops took that and left to look for uh, Jasper. Oh. So we got a long walk ahead of us. You see, Buster's just diabetic. He needs to carry his snacks around with him so he can keep his yeah. sugar up. Yeah, because we know what diabetes is. Let go. Let go of microphone, child. Give back. No. Alright, uh, let's Let go. go. Let's go. My bad. Okay. You can have it. Alright. So, you guys are making your way here out of this forest? Uh, yes. Uh, uh Jesus, don't... Sorry, I'm under I'm under attack right now. <laughs> we don't know what diabetes is for another sixteen years. Fuck. We know it exists, but we don't know there's type one and type two, so we have no cures for it. It's just called honey piss. Cause your pee is is, is sweet when you have diabetes. It's called honey urine, honey pee. I I can I can like did it. I can name <laughs> I can 90% guarantee that is what made people develop piss kinks. Diabetes? Yes. I looked it up! I just looked it up! No, I'm saying, how do they know it's good? it tastes like that? Well, someone probably got very sick and they were like, hmm, let's taste the piss, because they used to taste piss in the past to see how you're feeling. <laughs> you can taste diseases. In the past. Wow. In, the, in the past. Mmm, it tastes weird. like dehydration. <laughs> yeah, if you got a lot of salt, you're dehydrated. Yeah. Mm. Cancer. Well, you know how they used to do pregnancy, right? They'd take women's pee and insert it into a frog, and if the frog laid eggs, the woman was pregnant. Which I think is a very different story to the princess and the frog. <laughs> what, you're, what you're saying is, is frogs have pregnancy. Yeah, frogs... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, frogs. Oh. <laughs> Moving swiftly onward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Rook, you sort of see uh, Buster coming back with this barrel with a vest on it. It's a vested interest. He looks very smart. No, the yes. vest is like covering it because it has like. <laughs> No, he's got a vest on. It's a very smart looking barrel. Okay. <sighs> to the city. Let's go. Yes, we need to go home. So, you start making your way through the jungle. Uh, through the forest, I mean. So, coming here was uh, not as long. It was still, you know, a road trip by car. Now yeah. you're on foot. Yeah. So, are, are you walking? Are you running? Uh, are you never going to see Rook again because she's so fast? Uh, how about are you going about this travel? Smash or pass, Shiro. Smash or pass. <laughs> Special parts, hero! <laughs> Hyperventilating won't get you anywhere! Pick one! Are you a furry or not? Pick one! Pass? Pass. pass. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Boy. It's me. No furries at my session. Smash your pass, everybody. Pass. He said that so confidently. Yeah. Exactly. At least, at least do what I did for the bit. No bit must make you look weird. Mm. Bone meal. I mean, either way, I'm not smashing yeah. the dude. 
You guys moving quick? You guys moving slow? You guys moving? I mean, basic bitch. Basic bitch. We're probably just. I mean, unless uh, hmm. Unless unless I'm having to run after Rook, I'm probably just walking like at a normal speed, literally okay. with my hands behind my head. You know how like typical Japanese delinquents do. <laughs> You're Kutopian, not Japanese. Yeah, I know, but I'm just I'm <laughs> I'm saying that for a reference so you can imagine what I'm doing more I, easily. I <laughs> so I don't know what pace you sort of like start traveling. It is sort of like you guys set out in the middle of the night, didn't you? So it is. Sort <laughs> yeah, of like I guess. Dark. Yeah, it Spooky, is. Scary, scary it's like midnight now. As you sort of like travel for a few hours walking, the, the moon is now pretty high, and all of you are pretty tired from a long day. Oh, did we not get like a short rest or something at um the the guy's house? Uh, short rest, but you're still like physically, you know, you could use some sleep. Yeah. But if you guys want to push on, you can push on. I mean, Up to you. I don't know about the others. I I'd probably keep walking until I get tired. Yeah, I see. And then set up camp. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying about here, about, about midnight-ish is where you start to get a little bit tired. Cool, okay, well, let's set up camp then. Nothing bad. You're alright. You're alright camping out here? Yes, I know the forest like the back of my hand. Not this forest or any other forest, but I do like trees. <laughs> now here's the question. Do you have camping supplies? I pretty much every every background in the game gives you camping supplies. Yeah, but this isn't a normal game, though. I'm gonna guess that we don't then. I mean, the pops would make sure we had some. Let's be real. Yes. He wouldn't take us out to the woods, and then leave us okay. without yeah. camping supplies. Like that's just not. I'd say, expecting to I'd leave say us with you. That. You have uh, a few like sleeping bags. Yeah. Like emergency ones. Yup. And I can use my gun to start a fire. Produce flame. I was thinking shoot it. <laughs> I produce flame before he shoots it. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna assume you gather some like firewood before that or just, yeah. just yeah. lighting the grass on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. We'll, we'll grab, fire. grab firewood. Forest and if we need, fire. if we need to see while we're gathering wood, I have the light cantrip. So, no. So you you easily sort of like set up this little campfire. Yep. Uh, produce flame it. Yep. Feel like you're like um, you know, little bed sheets of sleeping bag set up. I picture Buster sort of sleeps in a sleeping bag like Aizawa from My Hero, <laughs> as tight as possible. Ben will be sleeping in a tree. Nice, he's gonna sleep upside down like a bat. <laughs> no, that's that's he he would if that's what ravens would do. But <laughs> I'm thinking more raven. <laughs> this goes and cut like just sits next to a bunch of birds in that a bird be... nest. Yeah, pretty much. Hello, fellow birds. Yeah. So now I just want to ask, Rook, how are you? How are you feeling? You've been through some stuff today. Confused. Obviously, she doesn't really know what's going on. She's just like, damn, I have two brothers. Why am I leaving them? I should really stay with them. But then she's also conflicted because Ven and Buster are like, in her mind, her real family. Because, you know, she's been with them the longest. Mm. We would also have happily stayed there for the night, if you, mm. if you don't. 
She's just kind of sitting and laying and staring at the sky in confusion. And you've got a baby bell, so. Oh, I have a baby bell. Everything's all better. <laughs> you sort of look down at your little piece of cheese. Then when you look back up at the stars, you sort of like start to notice the pattern of the twinkling stars. And it just reminds you of the paint job on Jasper's metallic arm. Jasper, the guy that just got kidnapped yesterday, he's, actually this morning. Yeah, he's, he's fine. fine. Pops after him. Pops will get him. <laughs> okay. So, unless anyone else has anything, I think we can cut to the morning. Hell yeah. So in the morning, you're, uh, you're met with a fresh new day. Uh, there's some birds next to Ven that are a little upset that you're up in the tree, but uh, they go. Even though day. I've got, even though I've got my raven cloak on, I don't, I don't like blending. Uh, <laughs> you, you blend in, but there's sort of like, what's this big ass bird doing here? <laughs> like, they just think I'm a fat fucking bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Uh, as you start moving about, uh, you know, traveling about maybe like an hour forward, uh, can I have perception checks from all of you? Wouldn't this be passive perception? Uh, I just like asking for perception checks, just... <laughs> Fair enough. The only good dice roll I get this whole, whole fucking day. I mean, honestly, that's probably... Perception is a good one, getting that 20 on. And I'm glad you did, because I or as hell did not. Uh, oof. Seventeen. Seventeen. So Buster and Rook. Uh, <laughs> as you all are sort of walking through this part of the forest, you sort of notice sort of like moving through like the shadows of like this part of the forest uh is this sort of like black figure so just like this sort of like this guy dressed in like a full black cloak and like uh buster you catch their face for like a second and it seems to be like some sort of like black gas mask as they're just sort of stepping through the forest clearly heading somewhere <laughs> fall in you know, just sort of just watch as Buster just sort of walks across to you. Uh, especially you, Ven, not seeing this. You just watch as Buster just w starts walking away. Where, where are you going? That's not the way home, bro. Shush, shush. Sh Wait, you fucking seen something? Like, what's up? I hide behind a tree and just continue to watch where the guy goes. <sighs> Sure. Ben is going to try and like look in the direction Buster is looking in. As you look in that direction, you sort of see this like... It's almost hard to see because he's standing in the shadows. Like you start to see this like person that is slowly making their way... This way. I, f I keep forgetting we have a fucking map. <laughs> um... I'm gonna pull out my big ol' sniper rifle and use the scope to get a closer look at their face. So as you zoom in, you sort of see this black gas mask. Uh, make a perception check. I'm just not- I'm not seeing shit today. Yeah, uh... You can't really discern like his like what his face ship might be underneath the mask, or really like into like the lenses of the eyes because they seem to be a bit glossy. Mm -hmm. uh, and he turns away from you and seems to like just pivot right into the very forest itself. So he's like gone, gone. 
Uh, he's sort of like starting to disappear from view. What's the call, cool Buster? Are we uh, we shooting this guy or like what? What's happening? Random guy in forest shoots him. Fun <laughs> season. I don't like your vibe. <laughs> Eh, he's allowed to be in the forest, I suppose. We'll just I, keep so are we gonna follow him, or are we just, we're just keeping to ourselves? Which is what I think we should do. So we should keep to ourselves. Yeah, we'll we'll keep going. I. Well, we'll yeah, ignore the guy. Okay. Oh, have you got to move your car? Okay. Uh, Brooks going AFK for a bit. Do you want me to come with you? Sure. Alright. All right. So, you start to continue on your way uh, about another hour or so until uh, you're not there yet, but you sort of see like the massive walls of Kutopia off in the distance, sort of peeking out from, like, the trees. But, as you're sort of sort of getting towards the end of like, this sort of, like, foresty area, uh, those of you, I'm pretty sure it's just you, Ven, since Rook's not here, uh, you notice this, uh, a few kobolds are sort of, like, ducking behind the trees with like these binoculars and telescopes and they're sort of just like looking at the wall. You guys like planning uh, a raid on this shit? Like what Yeah, there's there seems to be about like five of them. Oh there's only five I'm not bothered. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not fast by five kobolds. You fast by five kobolds? Nah, fine. nah I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh, okay. Right, I guess we just keep walking them. Okay, yep. so... Just keep swimming. Keep, you keep walking down the path. Uh, eventually, you get to the point where you're sort of like exiting the the village. I mean, like the the forest, and you sort of enter their binocular range, where you sort of hear from behind you. Ah! What are you doing? Walking to hello. How are you? Hey! Wait a minute. You see one of the other ones be like, Are you city folk? So what if we are? Death! De death? That's a bit rude. Then yeah. no. <laughs> are you know, it's also a bit rude. Coming in and taking our home and our people. That's a bit rude too. Yeah, well, that wasn't us, so... Bye. You're a shitty folk. Didn't say that. Ah, look at, look at that guy's clothes. Look at that guy's barrel. Barrels don't wear vests. That's a city folk thing. You think barrels wear vests in the city? I haven't seen barrels over here wear vests. So it must be from the city. Well, it's not from the city. Bullshit. Make a deception check. Well, I mean, he Ven is sort of telling the truth here because barrels do not wear clothes in the city, typically. Yeah, yes, but the phrase was, this is not from the city. Ah, uh, fair it enough. Is. 23. 23, they're like, okay, maybe it's not from the city, but you could have gotten it from the forest, and now you're going back to the city. Okay, is that a problem? Yeah, why would you go to the city? That place sucks. Yeah, well, maybe we know someone who lives there. I'm going to visit them. 
Well, I suggest you don't go visit them because that city's going down. What with all oh, five yeah. of you guys? Hell yeah! You you think five of you can take on an entire fucking city? Yeah, we're gonna kill that like president guy, and then we're gonna become the president. Yeah, we're gonna pretend to be him inside of a cloak. As oh, funny as that idea him. is, it's not gonna work, bro. What do you mean? It's My just... friend over there, Billy, he has magic, and he's gonna change his face and voice. To look like the me the president, not mayor. You, well, you mean you mean like this, and I do disguise self. Whoa! Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah, he's not that special. Sorry, and I go back to my normal face. <laughs> Is your name also Billy? No. Oh, that's weird. Thought only Billy's could do that. Yeah. Well, newsflash. No. <laughs> oh, I know. Your middle name's Billy. Nah, don't have a middle name. Ah, then it might be Billy. N no, I just I do not have one. Oh, well then it can be Billy. I'm not gonna just take a middle name because some random fucking kobold in a fucking tree said I should be called Billy. Just take a name. Just take a name. Why not? Cause it's just. Cause well, I don't want to be. Middle names. I don't. I don't want to be called Billy. That's my personal choice, and I expect you to respect that personal choice. Fine. Jesus. Thank you. But either way, if your middle name is not Billy, you shouldn't go to that city. I mean, that city sucks ass. Yeah. Well, we're going. So bye. <laughs> Wait. You sure you want to die? Why would I want to die? Well, because the whole place is bad. You know, there's crime everywhere. Yeah. It's much safer out here. Yeah. There's more shit to steal in there. Okay, well, I'm just gonna, like, hear him on the back of my head for saying that. Hey! So, <laughs> if you're from the city, do you know, like, a way to sneak in through the walls? You know... No reason, but like, just like, general conversation. Like, that sounds interesting. Like, uh, a way to sneak in. no, I, I don't think I do know a way to sneak in, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, you don't? Ah. Nah. What is the, like, tunneling under system when it comes to that? Oh, the I, walls I, go underground I, You'd have to go, like, all the way down underneath the foundation of the walls, which I'm pretty sure is, like, a long way down, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just not gonna it's work. It's pretty... It's pretty high up, and it's like... Hundreds. Ah. Sorry. Boys! What if we, uh, make a ladder? That's gonna be a big fucking ladder. And the wall's electric. What? What? Mm. The walls are electric? And they're cursed. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what if you sneak us in? We can't sneak you in. There's guards. Oh, that's the point of sneaking. Mm, they're too thorough. Oh. oh, can we, uh, can we steal your face? No. Why not? Because I Cause didn't mine. give you permission. Oh, guess what? You have to guess. What? No. What? Stealing doesn't need permission, huh? Yeah, it does. No, uh -huh. Watch this. And he like, points over to his friend. Hey, got here. And you watch this cobalt climb. I was like, oh, yeah, huh? Take that guy's face! And you watch as this kobold sort of like slaps his face and it turns into this kobold that just has Buster's head. Hello! I am your do friend. They, do they have anything like on them that I can steal? Uh, no. They look like they're. Like they have a few weapons, but they don't. These are like forest dwellers, so they got like just. Run of the mill, like animal pelt clothing on. 
Could I? And could I try and like? Are they holding their weapons right now, or are they sheathed? Uh, they are mostly sheathed, but uh, these two are like holding like binoculars and a telescope. Okay. Can I uh, use Mage Hand and uh, to do a sleight of hand to see if I can just steal that and ask if we can trade it for the face? Make steal a, a sleight of hand. Does that beat their passive perception? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. You sort of slip out this item, and now you will possess it. You sort so of slip around them. I, 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 I take out the item, and I'm like, okay, okay. Why don't we make a trade? I'll give you this in exchange for that face. You give it hey, back. Hey, wait a minute. What? That's mine. I, I don't know. It's in my hand. What's written on the side there? Uh, I look at what's written on the side. BK. Uh, it says BK. Why'd you ask? Yeah, Billy Cobold. Okay. Well, I'm offering a trade, so if you want this back, you're gonna have to get that face over. What? Alright, uh, you know what? Fine, fine, fine. Okay. I'll and also face. not... And also not steal any of our other faces. That's three things for the price of one thing. That's not a fair deal. Oh, is this not worth it for you then? I mean, like, it's a telescope, but I mean, I like it. Hey, come on. I mean, I'll, I'll take a telescope. Like, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't want it back, you know, it's. I'll take hey. a telescope. Give it to me. No, no, it's either a trade or you ain't getting it back. I will not use your face if you give me my telescope back. Any of our faces. <clears throat> Very well. Uh, are you watching this guy? Yes. Make a perception check for me. Twenty, dirty twenty. It's your breakout machine. Well, watch me get a natural twenty. Oh. <laughs> you sort of watch as he goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As he crosses his fingers and puts it behind his back. I see you crossing your fingers. What? No, not. <laughs> ah, damn it! He sort of puts the face away. Just give me the telescope. So we have a deal. Yeah. No using our faces. Uh, Alright. Our face? How else are we supposed to get in? Uh, uh, legally. You could, you could, you could get yourself some documents going, probably. If you tried hard enough. Do you know how long that takes? I don't know. A while, I guess. Yeah. We want to kill the president now. Well, too bad. I hand him the telescope back. You're very annoying, you know that? Yeah, I've been told. I don't like that big one, he's too quiet. It's what he does, he just he stands there and he's quiet. Very intimidating. Hey, big guy, why is your barrel wearing a shirt? Just gonna use the classic interrogate. Interrogate. Yeah. Interrogate. Hey, make an into make an intimidation check. <laughs> oh fuck. He's sort of like, hey, I don't like the way you're looking at me, and he starts to look back at you angrily. What? He's gonna make an intimidation check on you. <laughs> No, no, no. The cat started to step on the keyboard and it became 1d20 plus 17,000. Think I lose that? Seven. So he said, like, Arr. no, that's not working. 
Okay, so we're, we're kind of just having a stare down here. You, sir! You seem much more civilized than this other one. Would you let us hide inside of your shirt? We haven't got time for this. We, we need to go. What do you mean? I, I start walking off when Buster says that. Hey! Yeah, we just keep walking. No! If you break our deal, I find you. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah, throw a baby bell at him. Make a range attack. No, my baby bells. A range attack? So that's a d20 plus. <laughs> Wait, you're attacking them? He's throwing a baby bell up. Yeah, I didn't mean to like launch him. I just like toss them a baby bell. Well, just I want to see how well you can throw it. I just hit them square in the face. <laughs> Donk. What is that, a dexterity? Yeah, 1d20 plus your dex. Yeah. Because you're, you're not proficient in Baby Bell. Oh. <laughs> you get the bar fighter beat, then you will be able to. I fucking <laughs> slam that shit down his throat. You throw this Baby Bell and it just. Ah! Ah! You always see something dumb. Yes. So for nine pounds forty nine, you can get six hot wings and like. Uh, Yo, that's nice. No, guess how much ten is. How much? Nine ninety nine. Fifty p. Oh my. That's dumb. Yeah. Crazy. So, walking away from these kobolds, you start making your uh, way back. Uh, Rook, you now sort of like zone into what's happening. <laughs> been in your fields for a little bit mm. and you can slowly start to approach the border the border so oh, you what, see here you that there is place? there is somewhat of a, a line of people trying to get into the city but it does seem that the the checks here are pretty thorough Nice. Good thing we don't have fucking kobolds with us, right? <laughs> yep. So once you sort of like get up to the check-in booth, this sort of like uh, police officer sort of like looks down at you all and is like, oh, "I need your paperwork." So sort of holds his hands out for your like identify like your IDs and uh, what's. Uh, it was just around a, uh, one of the other sections. It's like a, it's like a passport, but it's like documentation saying Lisa. like you left the. Yeah, it, well, it, it's like it's a document saying you're leaving Kutopia, but you're from Kutopia. Okay, well, I mean, I'll just hand over whatever, whatever he asks for, because I mean, we have everything, so. Yeah, he sort of like looks at all your stuff, and he's like. Mm. Okay. okay. Come on in. Welcome back to Katopia. Good to be back. Uh, they obviously, they, they search you before you enter it. But like, just make sure there's no kobolds in your t-shirts. <laughs> uh, Buster. One of them does walk over to your barrel and seems to be trying to open the lid. I'll let the guy open the lid. But I'll, I'll, I'll turn my back so no one can see. He sort of opens the lid and he's like, What the fuck? Can I try and take a peek? Go for it, make a perception check. What's the wide? <laughs> what? Yeah, the DC is high because Buster is shielding it. 21. Oh. As you sort of like try and like peer around Buster, you see uh, an, some sort of like weird eyeball inside before the guy sort of like closes it and he's like I don't know what the fuck that is but you can have your barrel back and he just gives the barrel back to Buster it's your snack bucket it's got baby bells in it that was not a snack um, <laughs> just gonna intimidate the guy so he stops talking <laughs> make an intimidation check oh Okay, um, just, 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 just go in, just go in. 
Stress food. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back to Katopia. Yep. Thanks, big man. You got Perfect. eight for free. And then eight and pop one to you for you. So, I need to kind of dip. And I go for no, um, you guys have now. Yeah. Okay. I can't eat all of that, my love. So, so yeah. what are you having? You're kidding. We right? will end the session there as you all enter back into the lovely city There's of Utopia. Start making everything. your way back home. Oh, you meant that for me? Yeah, that's for you. Oh, sorry, I'm being stupid. Yeah, you. okay, that's that'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. I was doing something else. What did you say? We're ending the session. Oh, yeah, we're ending the session there. Ah, sad. Because Buster has to go. Where are you going? Uh, I'm just meeting over there, a friend, but I kind of organized oh. it before I knew any of this. No, 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 that's cool. We, we chill, messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, I was just interested up. in what you were doing out of, like, pure curiosity of your life. Tomorrow I'm oh. taking Chiro out with my work friends because I didn't want to go alone. So he gets forced to be with them. And we're going to get okay. drunk. Sounds great. It does, doesn't it? Nothing bad comes from getting drunk with work friends. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I don't talk shit about them, because I don't like two of them. And there's three of them going. Because I don't know the other one. That sounds real fun. Yeah. I'm really hoping fun Grace getting... brings along her boyfriend because he's like nerdy like you and then we can just leave Shiro and the other boyfriend in the corner and they can talk about nerd shit like Warhammer. I don't know that much about Warhammer and I don't D &D. hold a whole conversation on it. And YouTube. Alright, well have fun with your friend. Yeah. Right. Peace. See ya. Peace. Bye. Bye.